Yeah, we are here in the, the Bright Agritech zip farm today and we are harvesting basil. Uh, so while we're doing the basil harvest, we are taking uh, weights on all the plants um, in relation to the position that they're at on the tower, um, along with quite a bit of uh, extra data from there. Um, weighing it out and then later on we'll be uh, taking the time that it takes to package this into clamshells. And so we can use that data on the, on the time that it takes to do that to kind of build up into our, uh, some of our calculators and uh, you know, things like that that help us sort of help our customers predict like the labor required for a certain amount of, of plants and things like that. So um, yeah, it should be really good data and we're excited to share it when we get all done. Uh, what we're harvesting today is Genovese basil. It's a uh, classic sweet basil, uh, heirloom type. It uh, is favored by chefs, so it's a real common one throughout the industry. It gets you good prices. Uh, what we have coming up is we're testing out a hybrid variety against this uh, typical heirloom that we're harvesting today. Uh, hopefully this hybrid will give us much better yield results and will also be resistant to fusarium, which is very helpful in an indoor environment. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some real good data. We're looking at promising stuff here today. So. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm entering the weight that we get and I'm also keeping track of the tower number and the plant number in that tower. Uh, we're actually using it in our product development uh, tests here. We're going to use it to help develop some really cool new devices to help out farmers in the future and make harvesting and keeping track of plants a lot easier. We just harvested some basil and we were running some tests on how long it takes us to harvest and package this stuff. So uh, helping our farmers get a better under, I, or understanding or idea of um, labor costs over the long term. Yeah, so it's important for us to understand um, how much time we'll be spending on things like this where we're actually doing the manual labor of the farm. Um, which ends up consuming a bunch of time. And so if we have a better understanding of how long it takes us to do these things. Um, we can project um, our, our costs and our revenues over the long term um, much, much more accurately. making a quick little delivery run. So we just harvested a whole bunch of basil and now we're gonna take it to a couple of different places in Laramie. Uh, we got, I think almost 15, 20 pounds going to the soup kitchen who will then distribute that throughout the community to folks who need it. Um, probably prepared meals and stuff. And then we got a couple of restaurants that have wanted some basil that are pretty low today. So we're gonna go top them off and uh, we're gonna drop off quite a few clam shells that are local natural grocer food co-op thing so should be a lot of fun so we were just talking in the office and the plan is to probably make some basil pesto um, which would be a great use of it since there's such a huge quantity of it um, we also strive to get food to the agencies that need it most so we will share it with as many nonprofits as we can that are in the area that could use it. So it will call, make a bunch of phone calls, see if they can use it and make sure it goes to good use, um, helping all of our budgets out and being able to serve more people in need. Our employees kind of get first dibs. It's a nice little perk of working for the company. Um, but after that, I mean, when you have 90 plus pounds of basil, even with 42 people in, on board, it's hard to get rid of all of that in the right amount of time. So yeah, I can sign. We're kind of just like a little bumper crop uh, for a lot of the town. So if we have additional stuff, we might as well make it go to good use. 